Welcome to the Kings Mountain Mine. This is our open pit mining process. This is called a brownfield mine. That means that this area has been mined before. So I wanna give you a little bit of perspective on where you are now. If you look at this ridge of trees, um, on the other side of this, this is Battleground Avenue. This is kind of our main road through downtown. Behind you, we have I-85, and then the town of Kings Mountain just sits right over here as the crow flies. Now, if you look over here, you're gonna see a ridge. This is part of our gateway trail. This is um, one of our most beloved recreational areas in Kings Mountain. Um, you go out here in the afternoons on a Saturday, it's full of people, everyone loves it. It takes you up this hill that we affectionately call Cardio Hill. There's a beautiful butterfly garden at the top. Albemarle has committed to the community that we are going to keep this trail open once processes start. We're gonna change it a little bit. Um, we're gonna make it better, but we are going to keep the trail open so no one loses use of it. Um, that's just been something that everyone who comes down here asks about because again, it's a really important part of just really everyday life in Kings Mountain. Another thing I want you to notice is this, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of history, but mining here started in about the mid 1930s. Mining continued until about the mid 1980s. And in the 80s, what happened was the market was saturated with lithium. The resource was still there, but we could get it more economically from other sources, including brine. So at that time, mining stopped in this area. So that was about the mid 80s. I want you to fast forward to now. You can see what mother nature did over the course of about 40 years. Albemarle has committed at the end of the life cycle of this mine that we will reclaim this land. And we have a committee called the Blue Sky Project. We have people from all demographics, all socioeconomic backgrounds, all ages, especially young people, because they're going to be the ones who are still here at that point in time and enjoying this area. But Albemarle has a plan and we're asking the community, what do you want to see us do with this area when this mine closes? So that has been a very important part of what our community relations team is doing. The deepest part of the mine sits right out here. We're at about 163 feet in depth. This water that you see is rainwater. So over the past 40 years, I want you to think about how deep this pit is. It has filled up with predominantly rainwater. It's very clean water, it's great water. Um, there's no significant source of water that feeds into this pit. This rock is very hard, um, hard rock pegmatite, and it's like a big bathtub that holds that water. We are getting ready to dewater the pit. The dewatering, um, we're hoping is gonna happen in the next month or two. It's gonna take us 18 months to dewater this pit because we're gonna do it very slowly. We could do it much faster, but this is going into a small local creek called Kings Creek, and we don't wanna erode the banks of the creek by doing it too quickly. So we're gonna drain this water out very slowly over the next 18 months. I uh, mentioned earlier, the water is very clean. One of the things that drew me to Albemarle as a community member when I was going to meetings um, was the fact that if, if the standards here, if this is what we have to do to get by, Albemarle is always going to be up here. So we don't have to do anything to this water, but we are going to filter it to take out the excess sediment so we're not adding extra sedimentation to the banks of the creek. And we also know, like any lake, when you get down to a certain depth, you have low dissolved oxygen. So we are going to treat that water so that um, as it turns over, as we're draining the pit, that mitigates any smells that we may have. So again, just going above and beyond what we have to do to take extra care of the community and the environment around us. What we're looking for is this white rock that you see on these benches and that is called pegmatite. So that's what we're here for because pegmatite is where we have something called spodumene and spodumene contains the lithium. I've got a core sample right here. So this is a great example of pegmatite and these greenish areas that you see are the spodumene. We always like to tell people, think about this like a big chunk of chocolate chip cookie dough, okay? We want those chocolate chips, that's the spodumene. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna mine this pegmatite, 
We're gonna go to our concentrator. We're gonna crush this up, then we're gonna mill it down. And we're gonna separate out this spodumene using density because spodumene's the lightest thing in this pegmatite. It's gonna rise to the top and we're gonna be able to scrape it off. It's gonna stick to the little bubbles and that's where we're gonna get our spodumene concentrate. Later, that spodumene concentrate will go to another facility where we'll pull the cocoa out of the chocolate chip. That's pulling the lithium out of the spodumene. So this is what we want. And it's really easy to see it over here on these old um, bench walls.